thing that you guys asked for it you guys are about to get it what is going on dragon ball fans welcome back to another episode of dragon ball z budokai tenkaichi 3 mods introducing super saiyan god cumber can you imagine how fearsome and how powerful someone like this would be especially cumber from super dragon ball heroes man let's not waste any more time and do the following battle involving super saiyan god cumber i'm gonna involve super saiyan god cumber by myself and the people that i want to fight are going to be the following so super saiyan god goku obviously super saiyan god vegeta as well and I think you guys probably guessed it by now, Super Saiyan God Gohan. Even though God Gohan doesn't exist, and I really wish that this actually happened, because can you imagine the combined power between Ultimate Gohan and the Super Saiyan God ability? That would be insane. But either way, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button, guys. Slap a big fat like down below onto this video. And if you guys have missed the previous videos, then check out the official playlist link located down below. It is so early in the morning, and I said to myself, you know what? Since you guys wanted to see a really good god battle, because for some reason, so many people have been asking for a god battle. So I said, you know what? Why not include Cumber? And look at him. He's so fitting for this fight, especially against poor Goku. I'm sorry, even if it were to be the three gods versus Cumber, I'm gonna have to give this one to Cumber. I mean, Cumber has to win. If you guys disagree, let me know in the comments. If you guys believe that Cumber would lose, I would love to know why. Um, I'm at a significant disadvantage just because it's one on three, but I think in a situation like this, a one on three fight is way, way suitable because I think definitely Cumber has the ability to stomp out all three of them. He was able to do that in base. Now, can you imagine in God? And again, like I said before, guys, if you guys give this video a big fat like, it does help out the video a lot, and the channel as well. So again, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, slap a big fat like down below. Damn, look at this. This dude's getting bodied. This dude's getting freaking trucked. What is this? Is that, is that my finisher? Let's see. Oh my god, poor Goku. All right, so Goku's down uh, to just a few bars of health. I'm trying to reach him right now, but this is kind of annoying. Um, but again, even if it were a three-on-one, like, synchronized fight, do you guys think that, you know, perhaps, maybe, Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan have the ability to synchronize their attacks, uh, I think, in motion to destroy Cumber, or, or do you guys think that Cumber just completely stomps? I want to know just because you're going to have people in the comments root for the three gods, and then you're going to have everybody else just basically root for Cumber, so I want to get your thoughts in the comments, guys. Look at this! This is a slaughter! And I will say Cumber looks amazing, especially for this ISO. Um, oh wow. Wait, whoa, whoa! No way! Fusion? Is he going to make God Vegito? Oh my god. Oh my god, yes! Can you imagine? Can you imagine the level of power? This is amazing! I, I wasn't expecting any of this. This is this is the most insane fight ever right now. I mean, basically we're getting Vegito and Cumber again, except this is way different. I, I wasn't expecting any of this, man. All right, I'm at full power. Holy crap! And, and here I thought like Goku was gonna get slaughtered. I mean that that's what I initially thought because the way this fight was going, Goku was definitely gonna be the first one to lose. But soon after, it's like once he used Fusion, you should have saw my face. I. My jaw dropped. I, I couldn't believe it, but I think it's I think it's very suitable to have uh, God Vegito. Now this is a this is a different topic of conversation. I, I I think we can all probably agree that God Vegito does stand a much better of a chance than Goku does by himself. But again, I want to know in the comments as to who would win, guys, God Vegito or God Cumber in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Because we saw what happened with uh, Base Cumber and Super Saiyan Blue. Kaioken times 10 or 20 Vegito, right? That was that was an insane fight in and of itself. So can you imagine if we had something like this? Look at this. Yo, I am in this dude's face. Yeah, he doesn't have a chance. It's over. Omaiwa Tatakai. Oh, it's it's done. And now I'm gonna hit him with my finisher. If the other version of Vegeta uses fusion with Goku again, that would be so ironic if they created Gogeta. Can you imagine if, if they actually did? Gogeta, God Gogeta, right? 
versus God Cumber. Like, following the fight of, of God Vegeta. Like, that would be crazy. God Gogeta versus God Cumber. Like, that, that would be sick. But... I do want to I, I want to thank you all so much for your overwhelming support on the channel guys um we've been covering so much so many different gaming variables on the channel that i do appreciate all of your feedback i do appreciate all of your support not just for call of duty and resident evil and dokkan and heroes and stuff but I, I genuinely am grateful for you guys like sticking on by and enjoying all the other alternative content just besides this you know oh my god yo gohan's bringing the heat right now i, I Okay, Gohan, I see you. Yo! Oh, Gohan's the last one. Holy crap. Oh, that's right. That's because uh, Goku merged with Vegeta. Okay, alright. So, here's another Here's another poll, guys. So, Ultimate Gohan, right? Combining his, I guess, powers with Super Saiyan God. So, Ultimate Gohan, Ultimate Super Saiyan God Gohan versus Super Saiyan God Cumber. I, w I want to get your thoughts in the comments. I mean, this is a Gohan with his potential unlocked versus a cumber who is just a beast oh you saw that you saw the speed did you just see the speed bro that was insane just speed blitz right through him and you know what else too guys i think we can all universally agree that gohan gohan needs so much more spotlight like this dude this dude doesn't have anything so i i think for the sake of like character growth and like character development they need to give gohan more shine they definitely do because he was completely wasted in all of Super. Super, he was a complete joke. And I just think that going forward, what they ought to eventually do is allow Gohan to feel relevant enough by standing a chance against an opposing figure, per se, right? And I mean, like, not just once or twice, like how we're going to be getting, but I mean, like, just inevitably down the line, you know, like against anyone he comes across. You get what I'm saying? Damn, Gohan's getting trucked right now, guys. I mean, hey, I, I don't know why you guys wanted to see it. I mean, maybe maybe the other team could have stood a better of a chance if Goku didn't use fusion. But being that Vegeta's gone, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to fight Vegeta because who knows? I, I may have lost. Maybe if the fight were to be dictated, like, you know, in, in a certain narrative, I, I could have probably lost. I mean, there was, there was a good chance that I probably would have lost. But since Goku wanted to use fusion, Vegito didn't even do anything. Like, that's... That's how sad this was. Let me, let me see something real quick. I'm gonna keep blasting Gohan. I'm gonna keep blast. Why well, you know what? Nah. He's not like the other incarnations of like Cumber and stuff that I can just blast him into an oblivion. Yo, this is this is nuts. I can finish this dude whenever I want. That that's that's how powerful he is. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I saw Super. You guys saw that, right? I saw Super Saiyan 4 and I said to myself, yo, is he about to go Super Saiyan 4? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, he's gonna get the better of me. All right, l listen, Gohan, you can't. No matter what you do right now, like, you, you can't get the job done. I I'm, I'm gonna squeeze the life out of this man right now. But not to mention the fact that even in 2020, guys, even in the year 2020, we're playing this game. Like, hardly anyone is even thinking about Tenkai H3 right now. But being that, I said to myself, you know what? We can't just give up on this game. This is one of the best Dragon Ball games of all time. And for us to just walk away would be a no-go. Hell no. Oh yeah, Go Gohan's finished. I I'm sorry, any any Gohan fans out there, you guys are about to like just have like a nightmare. But either way, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank you all so much for your support. Let me see something real quick. I'm gonna finish him off the best way I know how. Hold on, let me just let me just back up. Oh, he's he's pursuing me, this dude. Okay. Alright, so I want to see. If he's going to make a mistake and use like his Kamehameha or something. Come on, Gohan. I, I know you want to. Oh, oh, oh no. I I know he wants to. I, I know he wants to unleash that Kamehameha. And I'm honestly just waiting for it because the minute he does that, I'll be able to uh to counter with like something else. You like you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh there we go. Alright, come on. Hit me with oh, oh oh is that our chance? Yes it is. Oh you messed up big time, homie. Damn. Kamba, Super Saiyan God, guys. Look at him, he's a beast. Either way, guys, I do want to say thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your support. Tune back in for the next video. Check out my previous videos if you guys have not. Subscribe to the channel, slap a like down below, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Links will be located down below. And I'll be seeing you all in the next video, guys. Take it easy. Peace!